Hey YouTube, this is Donald and today I'm going to review a console that I already reviewed but I just want to get this out of my chest because there are a few things that I forgot about to mention about the console. And it may seem similar to the Xbox One but different. Ignore that message, by the way, guys. That is just my dad's phone. Anyway, now the Xbox 360 is considered to be one of the best of the best consoles. And brought in a lot of firsts, including, including to be the first console to, you know, really customize your avatar on on Xbox Live. And it's another console to introduce Xbox Live, like early online gaming. Originally, there was a white version, which eventually, which I used to have, but died due to the red ring of death due to overheating. But this version shouldn't have that problem. I mean, this particular black version I have actually works pretty good. The the system operates properly and it seems kind of shiny now that I think about it. Usually it has a buttons, but now it's all a touch technology. It here's the eject touch button, which is touch technology. The disc comes in here. Here's the on off. Here's the sync button to sync another controller and under in that dust cover it's got two USB ports to plug in controllers. Two USB plugs that uses controllers that uses USB ports. And it says on here Xbox 360. Now the 360 was another console to offer the same amount of downloadable games. This game can do more than just throw in a disc and play. Instead, you can download these games online. On Xbox Live, by the way. It may not have any rubber feet just like the previous version did. Underneath it says Xbox 360. On top it has a fan. Also, and also it's got tons of peripherals that are pretty cool. may not be exciting as the Wii, but may not have that much peripherals as the Wii, but it's still notable and popular like Guitar Hero, which is debatably one of the best games the Xbox 360 has to offer, Call of Duty, Halo, which I don't have, Got rubber feet here on the side. Um, on the side, there's not really that much, except there's nothing really too exciting on the side. On the back, here's the AC adapter port. And, and when you're gonna buy an Xbox 360 today, make sure that it comes with the AC adapter because. It's a unique AC adapter, so those are might be hard to come by. Here's the HDMI slot, which the previous one I had lacked. Here's the AV slot, in case you want to use composite hookups. Here's the slot for the camera, which I don't have. The Ethernet port, three USB ports. And a digital out, which I don't know what the purpose of that is. On the back it says Xbox 360 S console, which is actually the version I have. 
I would show you what the white one looks like, but I don't know what happened to it. That thing is pretty much long gone now. Oh, it's got this thing. I don't know what that thing does. Maybe to unlock the console, the guts of the console. Also, I did learn that the console does have other applications like music, TV shows. Like, you can use this as a full-fledged cable box. So that supports the fact that this thing is a full-fledged computer in some way. Instead of, you know, like being like a, like a, an NES on a chip kind of technology. Like the NES and Atari, those are like, like an Atari on a chip technology. But what this thing does, this thing is actually some kind of mini computer in a way. That allows us to do more than just game. Now to show you the games that I got. I have more games, but I'm just showing you the ones that I remember. That I'm just going to show you as an example. I got this uh, table tennis game by Rockstar. You know, the same company that made Grand Theft Auto games. You know, Rockstar games. This game can use Xbox Live. And these games come on, comes in yellow green cases. Here's what the games look like. Uh, oh, here's what the games look like. Uh, they come on uh, CDs or DVDs, obviously, which has a lot of memory and capacity. But I'm not sure if this is a Blu-ray disc or not, but it does says here Microsoft. And it's actually a third-party game. And I think Halo might be a first... I thought Halo was a third-party game, but it wasn't. It's actually a first-party Microsoft title. And I got Family Guy Back to the Multiverse, which I reviewed... Now, I'm not going to show off this game on this video. I'm only talking about the system itself so if you want to see this video go back to my previous video if you want to see what this game looks like anyway it's rated M enough about the games let me show you the controller this is the controller I got with this system the um, one thing I might want to brag about like that I might want to mention about the controller is that the battery pack sticks out like this. But it's the same deal as the Xbox One controller, but the Xbox One controller is a bit more sleeker than the Xbox 360 video, than the Xbox 360 controller. It's got the same analogs, the D-pad is different, buttons instead of, but the buttons are different, it has back and start. Though start acts as a pause button. It's got A, B, X, Y. It's got trigger buttons, bumper buttons, much like the PlayStation controllers. But I like the Xbox One controller better because it's more comfortable to hold. And it's more sleeker. Also, it'll work with any other controllers. And it's got a sync button, I forgot to mention. So in order to sync another controller like this to the Xbox 360, you have to press the sync button, which is right, which is right here. You press this button like this, then press the sync button on, on the console like this, and it'll sync another controller in, so that way you can play with another player. Oh, and they, if you're going to use batteries on this thing, it, no, this thing only uses two AA batteries. Now, this console was released in 2005, many years after the cartridge days of gaming. 
when X when Microsoft and Sony introduced HD gaming. Here's the USB plug cord for for the controllers. One thing I forgot to mention about the controllers is that it has a it has a slot in the back right here which fits in like so. And if you're going to make the controllers rechargeable, you can either make them rechargeable from the console or get a charging stand just like I did for my DualShock controllers. Here's a rechargeable battery for the Xbox 360 controller. It's me notice it's white. You plug it into the USB ports like that. Oh, and on the front of the controller it has a headphone jack, like a head headgear jack with a microphone so that way you can communicate with other players online. Which the DualShock 3 controller lacks because it's so similar to the PS2 controller. But enough about that. And I gotta say, this thing did put up a serious fight with the PS3 and the Wii. And it does have all the major titles to compete with P with to compete with Sony. You know, these hijacked video games. Back then the Call of Duty games may not be as popular as they are today, but but this console Yeah. Um let me show you its AC adapter. Uh, here's the AC adapter. Um it's got a box right here which this plug this cord unplugs from this thing. Even with its box, it does end with a small plug that looks like this. Here's the what I'm talking about. The the double plug for the Xbox 360 AC adapter port. And when you buy an Xbox 360, you make sure this that they include this. You may notice the rubber feet came out of that. I don't know why it did, but it just did. Now to show you its connection. Now I don't have the AV outs, but I do have something. HDMI. That's right. I record videos about Xbox 360 games on HD, yo. So anyway, sorry about the profanity. I was just excited. Now these HDMI cables, this particular HDMI cable for the Xbox 360, one thing I gotta say is that this thing is pretty long. You may think the wires are bulky, but they're not. They're actually flexible, which means you can plug this in to any and place this Xbox 360 at any long distances from your TV, but my room isn't big enough to to utilize its long capability. I gotta say, this system will fit tastefully into any room, which is pretty awesome. Overall, it's just like any HDMI cable you can get today. So in conclusion, this console is is probably one of the best I might not have been interested in Xbox, but I gotta say, regardless, it's still one of the best consoles of all time. This is a this is a pretty awesome system. Definitely worth owning. It may not be anything special today, now that they stopped making Xbox 360 games, but back then, it was awesome. Even my friends talk about it. So anyway, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and like the video, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video. This is me, signing off.